Listen here, you kids. I'm getting old. Don't know how old exactly, but old anyhow. And I'm going to have me a retirement. You knows I've been running this business for over 50 years. And I reckon I wants one of my loved ones to buy the business off of me. But none of them wanted it. So I'm going to let one of you four kids have it instead. But it ain't that easy. You got to work for it, see? You got 60 days, you hear me? 60 days to make as many bucks as you can. You can start by selling that load you've got on now, and you buy another one. You buy as cheap as you can, and you sell to get as much as you can. Now, I ain't got me no favorites, so you come back here after 60 days, and the one of you that brings me the most dough gets the whole business, lock, stock, and both of these here barrels. And I don't give me one jackal's tackles how you gets it. But you watch out for the dang Hick State County Sheriff. I ain't never liked him. You want to know what's happening, and you come back and see your old mama. But you knock first, you hear? Now get out of here. What you want to come back here for? You just left. You come back later, and I'll tell you how your kinfolk is doing. Who sent you? Oh, wait, it's you. I know a guy who can get you a new identity if... No, no, uh, let's just stick with the paint job. What? I was... Quiet. Listen. You hear it? Hear what? Nothing, man. That's the scary thing. I got you one of them newfangled sat navs, and I'm a settler for you. You follow this dang thing's arrows, and it'll take you to some place where they'll give you a good price for your load. Casting for the remainder of his pitiful life. Alternatively, you could firebomb his house. I'm Crystal Sinclair. Until next time. Well, there you go, ladies. That was Crystal's astronomy thing. I sure hope you enjoyed it, because I knows how you women folks is all obsessed with the stars and such like. Ain't nothing but a bunch of load of fishes, if you ask me. Anyway, we got to go to a commercial. Ahoy there, mateys. If you're like me, then you love the taste of the sea. No, not salt water. Fish. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, now you too can enjoy wholesome seafood every day of the week, not just on Tuesdays, with my delicious range of seafood products. At Captain Barnacles, we take whatever aquatic creatures we have at hand, then mash them through a pearl, add some rotting potatoes, benzene, tasty bulkifying agents, and other things you don't want to know about, and heat it all up before processing it through an old machine. The result is Captain Barnacle's Catch of the Day Marine Life Based Foodstuffs. <laughs> Set sail for taste, me hearties. Women's Hour. Hey, ladies, welcome back to the show. Now, sitting here with me is Dr. Jenny Powers. Howdy, sugar. Go on, just park them buns right down there. Ooh, girl. Um, hi. Now, is it true you're a real doctor? Yes, Billy Ray, that's right. I mean, you didn't just marry a doctor so you could use his name or nothing. No, Billy Ray. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Huh. Well, that ain't something you see every day. Anyways, so why'd you hear, Doc? Well, this is the part on Libby's show when listeners call in with their problems and I try to offer advice. Uh-huh. Sounds real interesting. Anyway, the switchboard's lit up like a Christmas tree on the 4th of July, so let's take a call. Hey, sugar pie, you on with Billy Ray and Dr. Powers. Hi, Dr. Powers. Hi, caller. How can we help? Well, see, it's my husband. I reckon he's going around with my buddy him. He don't spend no time with me. Well, Missy, I can understand that. I ain't even met you, and I'm sick of you already. Let's get over to Daisy on line four. Hi, Daisy. How are you today? Oh, well, it's... 
fine. It's okay. Just take your time. I'm kind of nervous. That's okay. You know that's my problem. I, I want to know what you're talking about. Please, get get so Park your truck in the loading bay. That way, that pays you a parking bonus. <laughs> Listen up, sweet cheeks. All you gotta do is get yourself a pretty hairstyle and a real short skirt. Then the fellas will come. You listening? Didn't think so. Well, you're here, so you can get yourself to the bar. You know what that's for, don't you? Or to the store. Or to the garage. Wow, that's some costume. Costume? This ain't no costume. Sorry, I thought you'd come for the Friends of Dorothy convention. Silly me. Anywho's, I'm Larry and I'll be your barman for the evening. So what can I get you? Well, I'll have a root beer, thanks. Now, there's something I want to show you. Ha-ha! Ahoy! I'd wager you're sailing the high seas. Uh, uh, freeways in search of booty, eh? Then let the captain help you. Ha-ha! Then as we seas aboard ship, may your sail never split and your cabin boy never spit. Farewell! ha ha Incoming! Incoming! Give me your name and rank, and tell me what you need. This is how you make you some money. You sell your loan, see? A green arrow is a good price, see? But when you're buying, you want a red arrow, because that means it's cheap. You buy cheap, and you sell high. So, you get in the picture? Goodbye, Greenback, and howdy, Skeeter's Creek. I haven't seen you here before. In fact, I don't see many people at all. You get your truck fixed here, you buy your gas here, and you buy your rig other things here as well. That truck's as good as new. Wish I was. Now, do you want anything else? Seeing you really cheered me up. Bye. Done for the day, is ya? I'm only giving you 60 days to make yourself a fortune, so don't go wasting them. You found the sat nav, huh? Dang newfangled gizmo. Didn't need them in my day, just read the road signs. 
before you shot him. So you pick where you want to go and confirm it, then all you do is follow them dang arrows. Share, call in now. Still to come, I'll be talking to Dr. Lansing B. Heston about his controversial new diet plan. Nice. We'll be back after this. Do you drive a truck? Or maybe you never move from your sofa? Whatever you do, we bet you spend all day sitting on your fat behind. That can be the beautiful hemorrhoids. But now you can say good. Eat us. Teach you some reading. Thank you, Chef. The bikers is in town. Sure. Now you watch out for them. If you don't shake them off, they'll pepper your rig and steal your load. Give my love to Gasket Gus. <laughs> Still likes him. Wow, ah! Okay, just before we move on to today's mass debate, the Women Farmers League of Skeeter's Creek had asked me to once again point out that they're women who are farmers and not farmers who breed women. So please remember, if you attend their auction today, it's the cattle that are for sale, not the ladies. Now joining me in the studio is Dr. Lansing B. Heston, renowned author of the controversial bestseller, The Dr. Lansing B. Heston Diet. Hello, Dr. Heston. Yeah. Now, there's been a lot of controversy regarding your diet plan. Yeah, that is correct, Lady Woman. Too many stupid people are buying my book and not following the diet plan correctly. Mm, and that explains the death. Yeah. Well, Dr. Heston, if you could expand upon that. Buy my book. The Dr. Lansing B. Heston diet, and he will understand. Well, Dr. Heston, I've actually got a copy here, and I just glance over it. Ah, day five of the diet plan? Yeah. It says breakfast, one egg, lunch, one egg, dinner, magma. Yeah. Isn't that a little dangerous, eating magma? Do you have proof of that? That eating magma is dangerous? Oh, not firsthand, no, but... Then how can you claim that eating magma is dangerous? <laughs> Dr. Heston, it's common sense that... No, it is not. You lie. If you'll let me finish... No, I refute your evidence. Are you actually... Hey, Toots, another classy lady, I see. I don't suppose you want to dance. So what can I get you? Howdy, I'll have a soda. Coming right up. Say, are they real? Only I know a fella specializes in medical malpractice suits. I could have a word with him for you. Hey, that. <laughs> I'm just funnin' with you. Helps pass the time. I saved this just for you.
I'm Moon Krizwicki, and I'm kind of a personal wealth and assets facilitator. I can help you with your cash flow. Are you willing to like embrace this opportunity? Okay, whatever. We oui? are you here for a reason? Ah, now that is a question. I may see you again. Good afternoon, and how may I be of service? Of course you understand that the rose is my speciality, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> Actually, I prefer a stretch, <laughs> but for money I can deal with the lesser products. How old is that truck of yours? <laughs> Cynthia will be finished in a moment. Can I tempt you with anything else? Have a nice day! That's a new mod expression I've just learned. To see your return is like some kind of nightmare. But that is my life. It is said that parting is such sweet sorrow, yet I feel nothing of sweetness ever. Say, we'll be right back after this. Oh. A tropical camp teaches a taste of the tropics. Women's Hour. Hey, Billy Ray Stumps here with this women folks show. Now, we ain't had his no callers calling in yet. I reckon you ladies is too busy painting your nails or sitting on your fat behinds eating candy to call us. <laughs> so I reckon we should see what's gonna happen in the future. See, crystals in this genre. Astrologer? Yeah, that too. And she's been a-gazing into her crystal ball and stuff. And she's gonna tell us what's gonna happen next. Ain't that right, sugar pie? I'm not much sugar pie. My name is Crystal Sinclair. Yeah, it sure is, darling. Oh, wait. We ain't got time to listen to Crystal's astronomy stuff. Looks like we got us a caller on line six. Howdy there, honey buns. Hello? Yeah? Well, howdy there, little missy. Say, now, ain't you real smart managing to call in the show and everything? I'm not a little missy, and I'm beginning to think that calling this show wasn't a smart move on my part. Well, ain't that nice. <laughs> so what you want to tell us about, darling? You got a new recipe for pie, baby? Or is you having troubles keeping your trailer clean or something? Actually, as the mayor of Salt Sea City... Well, shoot, ain't that nice. And how's life working out being the wife of the mayor? Oh, no, listen to me, you moron. I'm not married to the mayor. I am the mayor. Of course you are, darling. You just keep thinking that, and it'll all turn out real fine. I'm calling to complain on behalf of the millions of working women in this country who... Hold up there one second, Missy. If you're talking about working women, we're gonna have to cut you off. This here's a family show, you see? What? 
I seen them working women. I know what they is and where they are, too, and how much they charges for you to... I'm talking about the women of America who work in our offices, stores, hotels, restaurants, and, of course, the home. I got to stop you there, sugar pie. If you's at home, then you ain't working. So you think houses clean themselves? No, that's what a wife's for. But if she's at home and she's cleaning for you, doesn't that mean she's working? See, this is the kind of attitude that just shows the level of ignorance I've encountered all my working life. You know what, then? Maybe you should have just stayed at home. How dare Well, thanks for calling, Missy. So, ladies, you heard that. See, it ain't that difficult to call in. So you do that now, and we'll have us a real nice talk. We'll be back after this. Are you single and looking for love? It's hard, isn't it? Maybe you're shy, don't you? Maybe you suffer low self-esteem. Perhaps you're just not attractive. Whatever the reason... Don't you be a cop. They ain't out to get you for breaking the dang law. They're out to get you because they're crooked. You stay away from them. Stop your vehicle. Can't you show I reckon they just might lock you up. Call now. One five 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 one nine nine. This is the Hickey County Police. Calls charged at twelve dollars for the first minute, followed by a fixed rate charge of nine dollars per subsequent minute. Minimum calling eighty seven minutes. The use of a female voice on this advertisement feature is in no way intended to imply that there will be female subscribers using a single telephone dating line. Women's Hour. Nine hundred STD. Hey, folks, this is Billy Ray Stump standing in for Libby Jones on this woman folk show. Now, we got us a caller, a feller this time, so maybe I'll get me a decent conversation. Hey there, Willie Joe, you on the radio. You reckon Turner's gonna go all the way for the Eagles this playoff? I bet you go, Billy Ray. Anyway, we're on the women folk show, so I guess we better talk women stuff. Uh, okay. Well, listen, Billy Ray. Double dying bad. Get this chick you got there with you. Uh-huh. Hot, cause she sounds kinda hot. Well, she ain't that pretty, and she can do with dropping a few pounds, but I wouldn't ah. kick her out of bed for eating cookies. <laughs> hey, you should see the look she's giving me now, boy. I tell you, it's a good job I got her microphone turned off. Tell you what, buddy, you stay on the line and give us your address. I'll send you out a picture of old Crystal here. See if I can get her to make that kind of personal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What now, soldier? Keep those... Hey, any danger of me getting some service here? Well, I suppose if you got yourself a fake mustache, maybe got a haircut. What? Oh, I'm just teasing. Now, what would you like? I'll have a root beer. I have something really interesting here. Would you like to see? Hello again. Well, you can bring your truck in here if you like. Close the door and leave the engine running. Call again. I enjoyed our conversation. Two, soldier. Now give me the lowdown. See you on the flip side. I got a stack of bills here that says I can beat you to anywhere. You name the place, and we'll just have us a race. Or is you chicken? <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Assault charge hired by a midget. Virgo. Today will be your day, sweet Virgo, but you will be too busy to notice. 
take time out to reflect upon your life. Destiny is a function. Libra, your wife, Candice, is cheating on you with your best friend, Ginny. You know the guy who works in the convenience store. Destiny says winners carry chainsaws. 